Hello there and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a radial progress bar in Unity. You can use this progress bar for anything that you like, for example a loading screen or just a circular held bar. In our case we're going to create a countdown counter so it's going to be some kind of status effects, for example the player is poisoned and then we can see that the counter goes down and will be animated and the good thing is that you're going to be able to change the values using the code and provide it with different times so you can create a timer for an hour or just for five seconds. The first thing we want to do is create some kind of manager that will control our status effect. So we create an empty object and we name it status effects manager. Then on this object we create a script with the same name. Inside the script we're going to have a reference to the actual progress bar and we're also going to have a boolean that will let us know if this effect is active. Then we're going to have a method that will activate this effect and will also start the countdown. Inside this method we're going to set the boolean to be true, we're going to set the game object of the effect to be active and we're going to activate the countdown passing it with the duration of the countdown. Then in order to hide our icon when the countdown is over we simply create a coroutine and we pass in this end energized effect method with the same duration. So when the countdown will be over then this method will be called and we're going to set the boolean to be false and we're going to hide this entire game object. Now that we have this script completed we are going to create this radial progress bar game object and we're also going to create this script that is going to control the actual countdown. Inside this effects manager we're going to create an image and we're going to add the icon for our effect. Inside this energized effect we're going to create another image and this will be the actual animated part of our progress bar. We're going to drag this sprite that I created into the source image. You can find a link to this image in the description. And now it sits perfectly on the icon. In your case, if you have another icon, you can just adjust the size of the sprite. Now we're going to change the color of the progress bar. We're going to set the image type to be filled. Now it depends on the way you want your progress bar to look. At the moment, it will simply start at the bottom and go counterclockwise so I'm simply going to change this to top and I'm going to deselect the clockwise and now it will move in this direction. Next we're going to create a script on this object and the script is simply going to change the values of this image. Inside the script we're going to have a boolean that will determine if the countdown is active, we're going to have a float that will be the indicator timer and we're also going to have a float that will be the max indicator timer. And we're also going to have a reference to the actual moving part of our progress bar. Then inside the awake method we're going to get a reference to the image. Then we're going to have the activate countdown method that we call to activate the countdown. As we saw inside the effects manager script we need to pass the duration into this method. We're going to set the is active boolean to be true. We're going to set the max indicator to be equals to the countdown and then we're going to set the indicator timer to be equals to the max indicator timer and this will simply make the progress bar full at the beginning. Then we are also going to have a stop countdown method that will simply stop the countdown. Now we need to write the code that will change the value of this progress bar. So inside the update method if this progress bar is active then we're simply going to decrease the indicator time by time delta time and this will simply make it go down every second. Then we're going to set the fill amount to be equals the indicator timer divided by the max indicator timer. Because we can see that this slider only has 0 and 1 but we want to be able to pass different numbers so we need to divide these two values and then it's going to work. And if our counter reaches zero, then we're simply going to stop the countdown. So when the counter reaches zero, it will call this stop countdown method, and then it's going to set the is active to be false. So the counter will stop at zero. And by this time, this coroutine will call this method. So it's also going to make the icon disappear. Now, of course, you can activate this countdown in any way that you want, but we're going to press some kind of button that will show the icon, start the countdown, and then when it's done, it's going to hide it. So inside the effects manager, we're going to have a reference to a button, and inside the start method, we're going to create a non-click listener when we click on this button. And when we click on this button, we want to display the icon and start the countdown. We also want to be able to control the duration from the inspector, so we're going to have a float to do it. Now on the same canvas we're going to create a button. 
and we're going to drag this button into the effects manager. For the duration, we're going to pass in 10 seconds. We also need to pass the reference for the entire icon. Now if we run the game and we click on this button, and now it's working. So now you can use this in your game in any way that you like. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video and see you next time.